The Caribbean is a rich biodiversity hotspot. It has over 11,000 plant species, and about 72 of these are found only in this region. This richness also extends to the Caribbean people. Their traditional knowledge of the region's varied natural resources has integrated nature into the economic and health sectors worldwide. It has also drawn many to research and use the region's biodiversity for medicinal, cosmetic, and pharmaceutical purposes. For example, the glaucoma medication Canosol is made from cannabis. However, Caribbean islands have fallen prey to biopiracy, where a country's resources are accessed and developed commercially, but the country gets little or no benefit from it. As the world benefits from the Caribbean's biodiversity, countries need to be compensated for their commercial use. Lawmakers need to ensure that their countries are legally prepared to give access to and benefits from commercial use of genetic resources. To ensure prior informed consent and mutually agreed terms of access established by the Nagoya Protocol, the Global Environment Facility GEF, United Nations Environment Program UNEP, and the International Union for the Conservation of Nature IUCN, are jointly providing support to countries at different levels in order to advance towards functional access and benefit sharing. Under the Nagoya Protocol, countries from which natural resources are obtained for commercial developments are entitled to compensation. It also ensures indigenous knowledge from groups such as the Maroons, Rastafarians, and Amerindians can be credited and compensated if their traditional knowledge has been used for commercial purposes. Caribbean islands are putting the Nagoya Protocol in their legislative framework to safeguard their country's biodiversity and traditional knowledge. Let us all work together to protect our resources, do valuable research, and reap the benefits of sustainable bioprospecting in the region.